Today we're going to be taking a look at the Farming Simulator 22 website. We're going to see everything that has been announced so far. We're going to take a look at some new things. We're going to take a look at some things that may be missing. We're going to talk about if we could see more of a brand if there's no coming soon. So that's why you're here. Stay tuned. <laughs> The first thing you want to do is go to the Farming Simulator website. It's just going to be farming-simulator.com. Leave a link to that at the top of the description. So if you want to follow along, check that out. Then you want to make your way over to, well, games. So click on games and then go down. And that's literally it. This is the website page that we want to be on. You're going to see all of these brands right here. All of the brands that have been announced so far. There are still more brands to come and there's still more equipment to come. And there may be some stuff that's not on this list at all that will actually be part of the game. We'll talk a little bit about that. we got vehicles to talk about today. We've got harvesters, equipment, maybe some miscellaneous. Unfortunately, heads up, no new miscellaneous stuff to show off today, nor do we have any new screenshots. But we do have plenty of vehicles. From the brand AB, we have their CC66 mower. This bad boy right here was with the Alpine DLC. It is a push mower, and we really have nothing new here. From Pure, we have their 6105 small tractor. Again, nothing new to announce here. Another one is the Case IH brand. We know we're getting the Maxim series, but unfortunately, they haven't posted anything. Giants, we know we're getting the Magnum. What else are we getting? We don't know. <laughs> one thing that I think everybody's wanting to see here is going to be the quad track. Will that be part of the base game? Will it not be part of the base game? Right now, it's not part of the build they're using. So just have to wait and see. One that I know everyone is excited to see coming back is Challenger. We have their MT700 series. However, we don't know anything about their MT900 series. I think the 900 is probably the more popular of the two, but at least we know we're going to be getting the smaller version. From Klaus, we're getting quite a few things, but there's one thing that's missing from this still. So we know we're getting the Arian 660, the Axion 870, probably one of my favorites right there. We're also getting the Axion 960, so we're getting the big one. We've got the TerraTrack version of that, and then we've got many different Torians. So if you like wheel loaders, you're good there, and a telehandler. However, Zarian, it's not in here. So, uh, no articulated four-wheel drive style tractor from Kloss. Plus, we're not getting their little baby tractor either. Surprising that those two were cut out because those were, you know, the opposite ends of the spectrum, the largest tractor and the smallest tractor. They've been cut. Could be coming as mods. That's a big, huge possibility. Unfortunately, we just don't know. From Farson, nothing new to share here today. We have their telehandler in a normal version and their electric version. From Fent, we have their entire range here. And I'm curious if there's anything missing, at least for you guys. We have their 200 V Vario, 300 Vario, 500 Favorite, 700 Vario, 900. We have the 900 MT. We also have the 1000 and the 1100 Vario MT. My question to you guys is, is there anything missing from this list that you would like to see? Obviously, we'll probably be getting plenty of Fent mods, so just be ready for that. You're going to get a lot of Fent mods, as we've got in 19 and 17, respectively. But I feel like we've got a pretty good base here of things that we can expect to see from Fent from tractors. The brand Hardy will bring back the Rubicon 9000 sprayer. The brand Iseki, yeah, their TJV 985. Love this small tractor. From JCB, we have their Fast Track 4220 and their 8330. And I am happy to announce that I know what this other JCB is. It's a telehandler. I was hoping it would be, and it is. Unfortunately, they have not announced it officially yet, but you guys saw my video last Monday. Yeah, this is on there. Leave a link to that video in the description, by the way. From Jens, only the one piece of equipment. We have their HEM 922 DQ Cobra Hybrid. From John Deere, we got two new things on the list today. So we have their M or 6M series right here. Of course, we knew about the 7810. We knew about the 7R. We knew about the 8R. Well, we now know about the 8RX and that we will be getting US versions of this. And Giants have said officially that if a tractor is available with an US versus EU version in real life, well, that will be shown in game as well. So I would imagine all these John Deere's, we will have US and E versions. Along with the 8RX, we also have the 9R, 9RX, and their XUV. We also have more to come from John Deere as well. And I'm curious to see what will be shown. I think we all know we're going to be getting the 6R series. As a matter of fact, I know we're getting the 6R series. So that will be shown. But 
What else? Well, it's going to be the 9RT. I know that already. From the band Drew Rig, we have their EFG S50 electric forklift. From Komatsu, again, nothing new here to share, just the two machines. From Krone, the big M450. Gotta love it. From Kuhn, yeah, they're finally showing this off. We have their SPW Intense 25.2 CL animal food mixer auger thing yeah love this let's go the brand landini brings us the rex 4 gt from lindner we have their lint track 130 so the 130 yes we're getting it uh 150 eh, not so much in lizard the only two things that we're seeing right now is going to be the pickup 1986 and their 2017 as for right now these are the only two lizard trucks that we have in game telling me well are we getting any lizard semi trucks as you know before we've had plenty of lizard semi trucks well here it doesn't look like we're going to be getting those we'll find out for sure but uh, i got a funny feeling all of our semi trucks now are going to be branded how's about mac trucks well we know we're getting their superliner six by four we also know we're getting their pinnacle six by four which is their newer one and right now those along with the man tgs 18 500 are the only semi trucks in the game two american trucks and one european truck that's it. From Mahindra, of course, we know we're getting the Retriever 1000. From Man, speaking of semi-trucks, we're getting their TGS 18500 4x4. And in Forest Street, we're getting their TGX 26640. The brand Manitou brings us a handful of machinery that we've not seen in-game. Normally, we have a telehandler and maybe something else, an art articulated wheel loader style, and then a forklift. Well, now we're going to be getting three different telehandlers, all a little bit different from each other, plus... We're getting their forklift back. From Massey Ferguson, the list is complete. We have their 37 AL, the 47 Ilm, the 5S, 6700S, the 3670, the 7710S, as well as their 7720S and the 8S. Right now, this list is full. And I gotta be honest, that is a lot of tractors. Eight Massey Ferguson tractors as part of the base game. Do you want more? Do you want less? Let me know. The brand McCormick, as we saw from the fact sheets last week, brings on the X7 VT Drive and the X8 VT Drive. Great medium tractors. From New Holland, as we showed off at the beginning of the video, of course, we have their TK480 Methane. We got their T6, T7 HD, TA Genesis, as well as the T9 and the T9 with tracks, two uh, forklift or skid steers, and a telehandler. But those are it right now. What is that? six eight nine base game vehicles oh that is a lot from ponzi again just the two pieces of equipment here from them the harvester and the forwarder and brendeth we have the raptor 300 and the light wolf agri power again nothing new to share here the brand rigid track only brings us their ske 50 electric now this is one of those brands that i think we might see something else from giants as you can see, there is no coming soon here. Nothing on the right hand side. So this leads us to believe this is our only rigid track coming with the game. As you know, we had a couple of them in uh, Farm Sim 19, especially with the Alpine DLC. So my guess would be they're going to be releasing some as mods whenever the game drops. The base game can only fit so many things. But they can release as many mods as they want. So I imagine we'll be getting some Ridge Track mods. From Ropa, yeah, we have the Noir Mouse for miscellaneous handling of stuff. From Ross Lamash, another new tractor that we showed off last week. This is their RSM 2375. It's a big boy, 375 horsepower, and it is mean. The logging brand Rotna brings us their H21D and their F20D. Well, things that we already saw in Farm Sim 19. The brand Schaefer, again, Giants. We know it's a telehandler, just, just to release it. Again, uh, the brand Schaefer, uh, a couple months ago, they officially announced and showed off all of the pieces of equipment coming with Farm Sim 22. We got their 23E, their 2630, the 9660T2, and, well, one other piece of machinery coming right here. The brand Steyr brings us their 8150 small tractor. This is their classic tractor. However, they haven't said about anything else, so we could see a small or medium-sized tractor as we've seen in previous games, or maybe nothing at all. We'll find out. The brand Stroutman's going to be bringing us this piece of machinery back. I love this. This was one of my favorite ways to feed animals in 19. It's coming back, the 1702 Double SF Food Mixer. This one holds quite a bit as well, 17,000 liters. That's going to be plenty. And we couldn't uh, do this video without a spot of controversy. The G-Series and Valman 8750 from Valtra. However, will we be getting more? Is this it? Is this all that Valtra has to offer for Farm Sim 22? Or will we see some Valtra mods? Or is the fact that there's no coming soon sign here not even relevant? Will we see more base game? 
Those are all questions I really would like to answer right now. From Versatile, we have their four-wheel drive. Everybody knew about this one. This has actually been, not, I don't know, say the face of Farms of 22, but everybody's definitely excited about it. And the last brand for vehicles that we're going to talk about today, the Zader Major CL, Proxima HS, Forterra HSX, and Crystal HD all from Zator or Zetor. Um, they've also got some mods that are going to be coming out and some DLC stuff. Not official like Farm Sim 22 DLC, but like a, you know, a vehicle DLC code you could put in from Zator. So if you go over to Zator's website or their Facebook, Instagram, anything like that, they're doing some giveaways. Check those out. And of course, the elusive coming soon. Making our way into the harvester section and Capello has some new stuff for us to show off today, or at least one new thing we knew about their helianthus 5700 we knew about their eight row and 12 row corn headers however this week we've got a new one a mower we've got their forge harvester header spartan 610 this is going to be a 6.1 meter working width and this is what you would go through things like wheat barley oats um you know canola soybeans things like that where you would mow it up and it would pull it in and turn it into chaff so You've got all of that. From Case IH, I am happy to announce that they have put in the Axle Flow 9250 in here, and we've got some new headers. Of course, we knew about the sugarcane and the cotton harvesters, and we knew about this bad boy right here, the 30, 50, 41 foot. However, they put in some goodies that we wanted to see. The 3162, 45 foot Terraflex Draper will be coming to the game, and we also have their 4418N. I believe that's an 18 row corn head running at 10 meters. That thing is insane. You guys are going to love that 10 meter working with on a corn head that is Case IH branded. Yes, please. From Kloss, we know we're going to be getting more. We just don't know exactly what in the world's going on here. We know we're getting a forge harvester from them. They haven't officially announced it, but we know we're getting one. For now, we have their Tryon with their Combio Flex 1080 header and the Corio 875 FC header. That is it right now. Also, I will say, uh, I haven't seen, at least in leaks and stuff like that, any other Kloss Combine come into the game. Could come as a DLC or could come as a mod. So those are both very, very high chances of happening. But for right now, this is the only Kloss Combine we've got coming with the game. From Dory's Far, we knew about this one. Their Tom Liner 49er HTS and the header for it. From Fent, everything we knew about here as well. The Fent Ideal that's going to be coming with the, I think it's the 8, 9, and 10... Uh, so that's pretty cool. And we have their Katana 650. Grimmy's bringing us some potato and bead harvesters. From John Deere, unfortunately, nothing new to share this week. We've got their harvester, we've got their forge harvester, and their cotton harvester. And then we have all of the relevant headers to go along with them. In the brand Kemper, however, we have the full lineup from them. Of course, we have their 3003. This is going to hook up and you can load up grass or hay, anything like that. You've also got quite a few different forge harvester headers. So we have their 345 or their four and a half meter we have their six meter seven and a half and rounding it out with the nine meter we also have the wheel support as well so the comfort support wheels for forge harvester headers uh basically what you do is pull up and hook up to it some of these will come with them probably like they did in 19 or maybe this is a completely different piece that you have to buy we will find out soon enough. From Krona, we have their full lineup here as well. The Forge Harvester headers and the Harvester itself, the BX or Big X 1180. Of course, you have all the headers you would need. Is this a 12? Nah, only a nine meter. That's all right. Nothing wrong with that. New brand alert. Blah, blah, blah. From Lake Oteg, we have their LH11 or LH2. This is their Forge Harvester header. As far as I can tell, this is either going to be hooking up to a forged harvester or maybe it's going to be hooking up three point on a tractor. Regardless, this is going to pick up and spit out. I'm really excited to see how this works. The brand Massey Ferguson is full as well, at least for harvesters. You've got their Massey Ideal, but that is it. And the brand New Holland is full this week as well as we have the addition of the Brawl 9090X. Unfortunately, this right here, <laughs> the 770, is the only for a combine harvester that we've got coming with farming simulator 22 at least base game at least on the build that giants are using right now the preview build um it, you know we could be seeing the cr1090 coming with a dlc or maybe coming with a uh download later on i hope we do i uh, definitely hope we get it as a mod that's for sure but nonetheless we have their 770 and then we have all of the goodies and we have the headers for them all the Forge Harvester headers as well. From Ropa, this was filled up a couple weeks ago, but we have the Panther 2, the Tiger 6S, and we have their Mouse 5 as well. 
all for doing sugar beets. And we're also bash only one combine to show off here as well, the Nova 330 and the header for it. And lastly, from Ziegler, we have their core champion 5R coming back. Also coming soon more stuff our third section today is all about equipment i'm not gonna do quick cuts for this one we're just gonna start and we're gonna go into it starting on agco we have four weights from them with 650 1100 1500 and 2300 kilogram front weights from agri sim we have subsoiler city <laughs> disc of vine we have the copy plow the copy plow gold four meter and three meters respectively and then we have an eight meter version as well jumping over to agromass we have their big plow we have a disc arrow and we have a planter coming from them as well there. All butts got the word butt in it, and that is funny. We have a lot of stuff for doing front loaders. So tons of front loader tools coming with this and some wheel loader stuff as well. Moving on, we have Alpago. There you go. So disc arrow and a power arrow. Kaboom, baby. There it is. From the brand Amazon, we've got a bunch of stuff, but we still have more stuff coming. We have cultivator, power arrow, cedar, cedar planter and a fertilizer spreader which means there's something new in here nope nothing new in here this week at least that i'm seeing the brand amity well nothing new here either we have their beat cart auger wagon and that is it moving on anderson from anderson it looks like we are full now we have everything so we have their bio baler which is going to do poplar bells we've got their bumper which goes at the front of your tractor when pulling this kind of pushes the poplars over looks pretty cool you also have a bell loader for doing round bells. That's going to hold, I think it's 24 round bells. So that's pretty cool. You've also got a uh, bell wrapper. So we have their extractor, which does, I can't remember if one of these does square and round and the other one does just round bells. I can't remember which one it is, but anyway, we have both of them. So it doesn't matter. We also have a, a loading arm for doing logs and added this week. We have the pro chop 150 for doing a straw bell spring. So <clears throat> you got that. And the brand and a burger again only one piece of equipment coming with that but don't worry modders have already said that they would be bringing more so we don't have to worry about just that one the brand apv again grassley care i have no idea what that means or what it is but we will find out soon enough because we are very close to release from our Cousin. again we've got all of the things coming with our Cousin. we have a stacker for baby bills we have a uh, stacker for normal bells and then we have a auto loader for square bells as well normal size square bells from bednar again they're big subsoiler six meters but that is it from them brand bergman is uh almost full well we've got almost everything trailer auger wagon manure spreader and a forage wagon and more to come so the brand bed or uh, bergman getting some love i love that from bachman well only their miscellaneous trailers in here today we have their open trailer and the reefer nothing new to share unfortunately with them from Brantner, do we have more to share with you guys? It looks like we do. So we have a normal trailer. We have a normal trailer. We have a normal trailer and we have manure spreader. So that is cool. That's going to be coming along with the brand Bednar or uh, Brantner rather from Bednar or <laughs> Breedle. Man, there's too many B words. Uh, we have two things, both coming back from Farm Sim 19. However, we got one more thing. I have no idea what this could be. If you know, hey, let me know. I would love to hear from you guys from uh, Bremer. We talked about this last week. The Transport Wagon TP500S is going to be found in low loaders. You drop it down to the floor, put whatever you want in here, pallets, maybe a small piece of equipment, and then basically it will uh, hydraulically raise up. The axle will spin down to raise the, tra the trailer. It's kind of pretty cool. Brewery, well, we got everything coming with them. Manure spreader, this is added this week. And of course, we have their slurry tank. So all about poo there. And we have everything coming with Case IH as well. The Speed Tail 465 Disc Arrow, that's 9.5 meter. And then we have the 12.5 meter version there as well. Plus, we have their big square baler. They haven't said how much these are going to hold. I imagine somewhere around 6,000 liters, but we will find out. In Kloss, are we full? Nope, not full yet. And doesn't look like we're showing anything. Maybe the Quadrant. Yeah, I think that was added. So. Of course, we have a trailer. We have the forge wagon. We also have a round baler, which will also do wrapping. I wonder if we'll do different sizes. I know the Pottinger does. Maybe this one does as well. Hey, and the Quadrant 5300 FC is coming back. Big, big square baler right there from Kloss. Front loader and then a handful of weights with more to come. And that makes me very, very happy. From Convey All, we still have more coming. We know we're getting like a placeable auger. So that's official, confirmed. They just haven't put it on the website yet. But we also know we're getting there. CST 1550. 
This is going to look perfect behind a Mack truck. Just saying. Moving on to the brand tempo. Yeah, right here. Uh, mulcher, roller, roller, grassland care. Don't know what grassland care is. Still don't know. I would love to find out. Moving on. From Demcom, we have their planter, but that is it. We've known, talked about that before. Degelman, everybody seems to be real excited about these. Rock pickers, stone pickers, uh, anything you want to call them. Well, here you go from Degelman. We have two versions. So, plenty of options. From uh, Doy's Farm, we only have their header trailer, but that is it. No complaints there. Doodle's Door, stuff for doing silage, and the brand is full. So, we have Grassland Care, we got a roller there, a couple levelers, and a couple soil compactors. Nothing new to share, unfortunately, this week. I'm Bach. All about weeders, man. All about weeders. Yeah. That's that's it. Uh, does anybody even use weeders anymore? And they have finally added the mower that I said would be here a couple of weeks ago, almost a month ago. From LL, we have their stone picker and we have their Duet 7300 mower. This is a full mower, by the way. So you can actually run this normally. You don't need a front mower. You just kind of put this on and that's all you need. 7.3 meter, 180 horsepower. That ain't bad at all. Farson, just their animal uh, feeder right there. 24,000 liters, so holds plenty, which is nice. Farmax, hey, we heard about these last week. They're spaders. These are basically huge um, power harrows. They dig into the ground, uh, yeah, big time. From Farmant, we have the Compactomat 1570 Max. We actually saw this in action in one of the videos this past week, so that was pretty cool to see. From Farm Tech, do we have a full list? And we do, so let's take a look. We have their big trailer. This is going to hold 45,000 liters, so that's cool. We have a smaller manure spreader, only holding 4,900 liters, but that's going to be for doing vineyards? Probably. It says manure spreaders, but that is really long and really skinny. I'm going to say vineyards. We also have a slurry tanker from them as well, 8,200 liters. We have a bigger slurry tank that's got drag hose attached to it, 15,000. And of course, we have a bell trailer. So the brand Farm Tech is full, ladies and gentlemen. From Fent, <laughs> their big 3,300 kilogram weight. Goodness gracious. Alaris is not next. Flegel is next. Is the brand Flegel finished? It is. So let's take a look at everything. Trailers, trailers, slurry trailers. <laughs> Bell loader, not a trailer. Forestry trailer. We also have a soil compactor front loader tool. This is interesting. So we got a little bit of a roller in here. I'm not really sure how that's going to be working. Uh, we also have their low loader as well. So there you go. There's everything coming with the brand Flegel. Very cool. From Furman. Well, we just have their three grape trailers. Nothing new to share there. I haven't had anything new for a while. And nothing new here as well with single row and dual row sugarcane planters. That's it. From Grimmy, do we have a full brand? We do have a full brand. So let's talk about it. We have their potato technology planters. So we have two of those. I believe that's a three meter. Yep. And a six meter. We have a topper for doing those 3.2. And we have a uh, loader, so or harvester, so you'll come through, do the topper, and then with a different tractor, you can come through and pick them up. We also have uh, another header for doing sugar beets. Yep, so this will be potatoes, yeah. And sugar beets, a little early in the morning. We've also got a harvester for that as well. Let's see, three meter, three meter, so you can run these at the same time. That'll be fine. And then a couple belts. Nothing new in the belt department. Man, we're not even halfway done. From Hardy! Not a full brand yet, but again, we have everything that we've seen so far. We have the Mercury 4000 Vineyard Sprayer. We got a front tank. We've got a regular sprayer. Uh, it's 1,200 liters. And then we have their Commander Delta Force. Love the name on that. That's awesome. From Hall or Hall, whatever you want to call it. We have their auger wagons, but nothing new to share this week, unfortunately. For Heisemat, well, we knew about this pretty early on in the Farming Simulator lifespan. So nothing new to share there. From Hilaris, we have a full brand here, two levelers, saw compactor, and then a tool for your wheel loader. But that is it there. Porsche, uh, again, cultivator and a disc arrow. I would have expected like 10 pieces of equipment from this brand, but only two. From John Deere, anything new to share this week? There's not. And I need to talk about this weight because you guys have kind of set me straight on that. So we have their big planter. We've got a couple front loaders, so that is cool to see. Uh, looks like 290 horsepower required for this one, so that's going to be on the 7R. I'm almost positive of that. Uh, then we have, of course, two weights. And then we have this piece right here. This goes on, if I have been told correctly, uh, not on the big... Uh, the 9R and the 9RX, but instead on like the 7 or 8R, it goes on the front and kind of adds a little bit extra weight around through there, kind of in the middle. So 
that's hey, pretty cool. Hey, I'm down with that. Uh, and then we also have more to come. Very cool. From Quacko, just a trailer. Nothing too crazy there. From Kessler, uh, just a forestry trailer. Nothing too crazy there. From Kenzie, well, we got the full brand set up here. We've had this for a couple weeks now, but two disc arrows and two planters. And yeah, that's the big one. 18.2 meter working with. Whoop, whoop. From Nosh, Mulcher, nothing too crazy there and nothing new to share. From Kokerling, um, I don't remember them having a coming soon. Maybe they did, and I'm just, you know, not seeing things. But we have their Vector 570 and 800. We actually got a fact sheet for the 800 this week, so that was pretty cool. And then the all-arounder flatline 600. More to come from them. From Grant, we have the full setup. Two slurry tanks to put in your fields. And then we have a slurry semi-trailer. Cool there. From Crampy. Well, well, everything. We had these a couple weeks. Two trailers and a dolly. That's it. Agriliner. Hey, we got a new Bell trailer from them this week. So we knew about the MUK or the Muck 303, but we didn't know about the Pro 24, the PWO. So that is pretty cool. Big Bell trailer coming from Kroger Agriliner. Nice. From Krona, well, just the two things. We got a windrow and we have header trailers. Would love to see some mowers and stuff from them, but unfortunately nothing new. Profile liner, miscellaneous. Nice, nice. From the brand, the K brand that I don't want to say out loud. Do we have a full setup from them this week? Is everything there? Nope, but we still got a bunch of stuff. This is what I expected from Horsch as well. So, a couple pair of harrows, a subsoiler, cedar, 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 planter. Gotcha. Manure spreader, that's new this week, but we've had that, I think, for a game or two in a row now, so nothing new. Too crazy there. A couple mowers, so we have a single rear. We had a front and a dual rear mower. Uh, tether, windrows, 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 all the stuff you're expecting. Round baler, square baler. Ooh, I like that. That looks pretty cool. And we also have a big bell wrapper and a food mixer, 11,900. Actually, I think it was Clutch gave me one of these in Farm Sim 19. So, Clutch, will you be so kind as to grant me another uh, <laughs> spreader? That'd be cool. No, uh, they got more coming with them, so be ready. From Cavernland, we almost have everything. Maybe there's a lot more to come. Since we got the Cavernland Viking DLC for Farm Sim 19, I expect a lot of that to be on here. Of course, we got a couple plows. So we got a medium size and a large size plow, subsoiler. We also have a mower that's been added new this week and a bell wrapper. I think we've had that before. So nothing new there. From Limgum, not a full brand here, but we do have something new to show off. So we've had their plow, but they've added cultivators this week. The Carrot 12500 KUA and the Corlin 9840. So that's pretty cool. 8.4. It's a beautiful, beautiful cultivator. I like that. Very, very nice. Blizzard, anything new to share with you guys this week? Uh, the answer is yes. And it looks like we are full. So we have their sugarcane harvester, the trailed version. We have cotton technology for single and two bells. We also have the MKS coming back and the MKS 32 coming back as well as their belt system. So uh, I believe these two machines or the uh, two liquid trailers will be modified very, very quickly <laughs> by me. Sorry, not sorry. Maxi, hey, uh, are we full here? Yep, and we have been because these are all four wheel loaders and telehandler tools. So everything that you're used to seeing that will be coming back. Massey Ferguson, only two things, sugar cane trailer and a baby beller. As far as we know, that's the only baby beller. We've got some more cotton handling stuff, plus a high dump bucket from McCormick Industries. So there you go. That's all coming back. Nardi, yay, new header trailers. We've got more coming from them as well. This is a new brand coming to Farming Simulator 22. New Holland, just their big baler. Nothing to share here. Just a big, big, big baler. Uh, it's also very similar to the Case IH version as well. Since you've got Case New Holland C and H, uh, you also have from uh, Nordson. We have their Power Harrow. Don't remember seeing coming soon from them, but hey, coming soon. Paladin, everything for doing skid steers. It is all coming back. Whatever you've been used to since Farm Sim 17. Uh, well, you can use as far as stuff from Pondgers. You can see we got quite a few things here. Is there anything new to share with you guys this week? And it looks like. Maybe I thought we actually saw this last week, but maybe we didn't. Anyway, we got a fact sheet about this this week. It's there. There is also more to come as well. Pottinger going to be very popular. Prentice, not new to share here. Just their forestry equipment stuff. Stump grinders. Provitus, just their grape pruner. You will need to get this. If you're doing grapes, you have to have that piece of equipment and there's nothing else other than if you don't like it, sorry, you have to have that. Uh, from Quickie, we have a bunch front loader stuff, and then we have a single and double big bag lifters. So big bags, yes. Well, we knew that they were coming. From Arabi, we have, let me guess, two and a half meter cultivator. All right, so not three meter. We don't have to get on that uh, 
get on that power trip yet. Uh, from Ropa, we have three pieces. We have Pottinger. That's uh, Pottinger. <laughs> Man, I'm ready to go to bed again. Uh, we have their Potato Technology Harvester. I believe that's like a 1.8 meter. Yeah, 10,000. You guys are used to that piece of equipment. Plus, we have headers, now all kinds of stuff. Whatever you need, rock and roll, you're good with Ropa. From Raw Smash, big cultivator. Work with Raw Smash as well. Uh, and here, nothing new to share yet. <laughs> like, the first trailer that we saw in 19 had a Rudolph uh, a HDK, I think it was what it was. And they still haven't shared it yet on the website. Cracks me up. Uh, Samaz. Yep, Windrow. I, this might be new this week. I'm not sure. Anyway, there's more coming soon, so that's cool. Uh, oh, yeah. There's a uh, snowplow. Huh. There's a snowplow coming from that brand, so be ready. Uh, over here from Samsung, almost everything. We've got a manure spreader, slurry trailer, and then you've got a uh, c complete injector, and you also have your uh, drag hoses there. Another new brand announced this week, Schlotten. Um You've got a slurry tank and a slurry injector from them. So that is pretty cool. 13,000 liters there. And this will have a 6.8 meter working width. So not too bad. Not too bad. From Shootamaker, we got the big Rapid 580. And then from Sep New Soul, we have the F240. This came with the Alpine DLC. And it is coming back. Just a mower, 2.4 meter working width. SIP, we've got more stuff coming from the Alpine DLC. We've got uh, two windrows from them. So very cool to see these pieces of equipment coming back. Those are newly announced this week. Looks like the Stroutman brand is complete. We have their big Aperion trailer, a couple manure or a manure spreader, and then two loading wagons, 50,000 liters. Looks like this is going to be big boy to beat right there. The Stroutman, what was it? Um, Magnon CFS 530 do. Kaboom, baby. Thunder Creek miscellaneous run in your fuel. Got a bunch of stuff here. All kind of mulchers from TMC Casella. From Truffler, Big Weeder. Nothing too crazy. TT, just a sugar cane trailer. That's coming back to farm some 17. And then right here from Vader, Stad Cultivator, Cedar, and Planter. I mentioned in past weeks that I thought we would be getting the Seed Hawk. However, um, I went back and I could not find anywhere where the Seed Hawk actually was. It was actually this piece of equipment right here. It was a big cultivator. So, heads up there rocking and rolling over here on the vicon and my power just went out of my house great uh we have their fenix 904 from weber we have their silo compactor wiggler just a trailer wilson nothing new to show we know we're getting the super b just show it soon hammer <laughs> a little terrified right now my power just went out that's why you get battery backups ladies and gentlemen slurry tanks slurry tanks slurry tanks and more coming soon Woo. As mentioned, there's nothing new to share as far as miscellaneous stuff goes. We knew we were going to be getting all the big bag stuff, pallets, fertilizer, etc., and all of the trailer bork tires. We know we're getting BKT. We know we're getting Michelin. Um, I, there was one other one I thought as well. Uh, Continental as well, yeah. So we know we're getting all those. They just haven't posted on the website. Don't know why. I wish I could tell you. As far as screenshots go, uh, well, we got a couple things in here, but unfortunately, nothing new to share this week. See, that's what I'm talking about, right? From some ads. Oh, yeah. Gotta love it. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed this one. This was a little bit longer than usual. Try to edit it a little bit, but we'll see what happens. If you enjoyed it anyway, if you did, drop a like, get subscribed. If you're new, join the Gohan fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. If you guys haven't seen my video that I released earlier in the week, it was on uh, Monday, uh, talking about used equipment and stuff like that. It was a Farm Sim News special. It wasn't a normal farm some news. It was actually like a special version. Check that out. It's going to tell you everything that you need to know. Link it in the description and first pinned comment. I'll be set. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.